Hi, my name is Vasilios de Bellas. In English, Vasilios is Bill. I'm here today talking to my friend Yuri I met in church. He's a Russian, goes to our church. And we got together and we're talking about this. I was born in Lowell, Massachusetts, 1925, actually 24, but we leave it at 25. They made a mistake. Yeah. When the war started, my brother went in and I was anxious to go in and I lied and I joined the service, the army in uh, Massachusetts. And I went all over the country and we were uh, learning to become good soldiers. And fortunately, I was getting good service by landing in Camp Shelby, Mississippi where we trained with the 442nd Army Division and the 442nd Army Division were the American Japanese soldiers. Some of the best soldiers we ever had. And from there we went to Camp Kilman, New Jersey and from there we shipped out to go overseas. Just about the time the Battle of the Bulge started and they needed as many soldiers as could. We were soldiers but I was an engineer soldier. I was assigned to the 1155th combat engineers. There were 11 officers and 55 men. We were trained in, in America. We went overseas and we landed in Le Havre, crossed in barges and went right into the Battle of the Bulge in Liège. During the worst time at all. That's when they had uh, trouble. We had no ammunition, no food. We were surrounded and the German general told our General McAuliffe to give up and he gave a message back to them, nuts, he wouldn't give up. General Patton was volunteered to come to Belgium and help us and he ran out of gas too because he didn't have gas or ammo and he was, his men were slaughtered also. Consequently from there we left, we went to Remagen, we captured the Remagen Bridge by accident the generals told our major to capture the city of Remagen and continue south, but they found the bridge intact. We cried, they said the heck with orders, we're going to cross the bridge of Remagen. March the 7th, 45. From there we went across. I crossed it March the 10th with my group, and then the Germans blew it up March the 15th. We continued from there to Cologne, Aachen, Dusseldorf, and towards up to where we met the Russian soldiers in Lantov. We could not go into Berlin because the deal was made by the United States government in England that the Russians were to take Berlin. We were transferred and continued on to Bavaria. We were there March 5th, May 15th when the war ended. We stayed in a place called Band of Brothers Chateaus and then the officer Colonel asked us you boys want to go to Philippines and help the boys there? And we volunteered, and we went. Consequently, we landed in a bad place, Lake Guyan Gulf, it was horrible. It's 20 miles from Manila, into Manila, and the war ended. And after the war ended, I took my discharge, stayed there, and went to work with the Army, uh, signed up with the Army Transportation Corps. A friend of mine in Pennsylvania, and he contacted me, we talked, and then we found out the rest of the outfit had died because we were only, I was 17, 18, he was like 19. I guess he's 92 now, and consequently, there's only a couple of us left. We weren't heroes or anything, we're just two of us left alive, and I'm one of them. And the rest of the boys, of course, they were 25, 30 at the time. They'd have been 110 now, so of course they've passed away. We, like I said before, we just did our job, as engineers. We were building small bridges, barely bridges, blowing other bridges, and while the boys were fighting in France, we were already in Belgium, going cuckoo, you know. And that was it. I went to the Philippines, like I said, and here I am now.